Well, taking a little hike out in western Box Elder County. I just left the uh, Golden Spike National Monument back there. They had the trains out. It costs a fee to get in there, and I didn't want to pay the fee. I've been there a hundred times, probably. Well, not a hundred times. Anyway, got to go up this road, and then hit another dirt road, and then see where I want to go from there. No plans. Just out for a hike. Hello guys. Don't want to talk to me, huh? Yeah, you can come and talk to me. Some horses in the harvested grain field here beside the road. Oh, here comes one. They're picking up some of the mildly green grass, the wild grass. Hello boy. You don't have to be afraid. They're a little skittish, I guess. Cars come by this dirt road here all the time, but... But they're not used to people walking, I'm sure. So, I'll just keep going. Well, I just broke out my umbrella about five minutes ago. Because it's getting into the 80s right now. And I can't believe how much cooler it is underneath an umbrella. It's just a cheap garage sale umbrella, but uh, it sure keeps you a lot cooler. There's a slight breeze going, and I'm sweating pretty heavily going up this hill here, but still on the road. Boy, it's dry out here. I'm getting drier. Well, this road's got a lot of surprises. I just crested a big hill and I thought that was going to be it, but it's not. I got a couple more there. Well, it's pretty out here. Nice and quiet. I've seen about, oh, I don't know, three cars. Pretty desolate out here. Not too many people come out. Well, I'm taking a little break underneath the cedar tree here. Well, it's not a cedar. What's it called? I forget. It don't matter. Anyway, that umbrella is a lifesaver out in the open country. Boy, it is so much cooler underneath. You sweat less. I think in dry country, the uh, trick to conserving water is to keep the sun off you. Wear long, light, loose clothing. I got yellow shirt on. And I got my arms covered. And one of my little sun hats. Sure is nice out here. Quiet. For Labor Day weekend, it sure is pretty. Well, I'm just going to show you some of my little buddies on my arm. Oh, there, here they come back. Flies. I'll tell you, when you're hiking, you're never without company. Mosquitoes or flies. They don't want to land on me right now. Ah, oh, there's one. On my hand. Yeah, you never get lonely on the trail. Just gotta find, find some flies. Take her easy. This is part of the California trail I'm on. Uh, I didn't know that. But uh, it says here, Bidwell Bartleson Trail, Salt Lake. First overland immigrant party. And then it has a quote. At evening we arrived in full view of the Salt Lake water. Very, water was very scarce. Cedar groves here both on the hills and in the valleys, distance 20 miles. John Bidwell, August 23rd, 1841. Interesting. Yeah, and from here you can see the Great Salt Lake. Down there past the power lines. And there's 
is the northern tip of it right there. And that's about 20 miles away, so I'm probably not going to try for it. I've only got uh, about two liters of water left, so I'm probably going to walk down a ways further on the road here, but Oops. just twisted my ankle. Ugh. Okay, that must mean I'm tired. Had a good rest underneath one of these cedar trees. I didn't think they were cedar trees, but they are cedar trees. But uh, sure is pretty out here. The white, I don't know if you can even see it with this crummy camera of mine, but the shoreline is just white as can be. Way far over there, there's uh, the Bonneville, probably 50, 60 miles away is, is the Bonneville um, salt flats where they have races. I've had about, you know, a couple people on this road here stop and ask if I needed anything like water. I can't believe I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> sure is nice though. Well, crossing this cattle grate, I think is about as far as I'm going to go. I got two liters of water to get me back to my car. And it'll be a good jumping off point next time I want to come out here so I can go exploring some more. Can you see that island in the middle of the Great Salt Lake way out there? I doubt it with this camera. But it sure is pretty. Be nice to get a canoe and go out there. Well, from Utah, this is me signing off. Take her easy. There's one of the engines sitting out. They put the other one away. It's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon now. Golden Spike National Monument.